Most content creators are familiar with TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer, but did you know that there are tools within TubeBuddy that can help you optimize a video even after you've uploaded it so that you can help that video perform better if it hasn't been doing its best? Well, if you didn't, then today's video is going to be very helpful to you because I am going to be sharing three tools that you can find in TubeBuddy that can do just that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the Project Girl Boss channel. If you're new around here, I'm Nessa, and in this channel, I wanna help you get monetized and grow organically. I hope that you had an amazing holiday. I know that 2020 hasn't been the best, so these holidays might have been different, but nonetheless, I hope you had a good time. Now, let's get into these two buddy tools. Actually, before I get into the tools, I do have a little disclaimer. The tools that I'm gonna be talking about in particular are found in the two buddy paid plans, but before you you go anywhere two of you are gonna have a chance to win a two buddy legend license so that's the one with all the bells and whistles I'm gonna have more information on that giveaway towards the end so make sure that you stick around because you're not gonna want to miss this now let's get into the tools the first tool that I want to talk to you guys about is called click magnet let's actually jump into my computer screen so that you can follow along with me so that you can see exactly how this tool works and why I think it's so beneficial so the first thing you do is is you go to the little TubeBuddy icon, you click on that, and then you're gonna wanna find the option that says click magnet. This is gonna bring up a pop-up box. Go ahead and click the button that says get started. The tool begins analyzing all of the information, and then we're gonna have some results. So once the tool finishes its analysis, we have the following options. Uh, power rankings, opportunities, element inspector, and advanced analytics. So we're actually gonna click on each one of these so that you can see exactly how this can help you out. I'm gonna start by going to the one called Power Rankings. And what this is, is your top performing videos for all traffic sources. So according to this, if you wanna grow your channel faster, what you wanna to try to do is focus on making videos that are similar to your top ranking videos. So you can see that my top three videos are YouTube Shorts being the number one, followed by why you should make YouTube Shorts, and then my number Number three video is this is how you grow on YouTube how to get views as a small youtuber using SEO now the metrics that the power rankings takes into considerations are click-through rate watch time and how many clicks the video get if you recall I actually ran a poll asking you guys if you wanted to see a video on TubeBuddy or a video on YouTube shorts and that's because I was taking a look at these analytics and I know that if I put out another video that is related to YouTube shorts because those top two videos are both about YouTube shorts that third video is also going to perform very well but this is what I want you guys to take a look at because this is how power rankings can help you improve videos that maybe are not performing as well as they should be. If you take a look at the video that is ranked fifth, that's actually the how to use TubeBuddy to get views on YouTube. And you can see right here that the click-through rate is 4% and it's not in the green, which means it's not doing as well. However, it does have a good watch time. This actually tells me that I have a thumbnail problem because the click-through rate is low and it has low clicks however the watch time is very good which means that when people actually get to the content they stay on the video so this video could be doing better and it's not necessarily doing bad this is the thumbnail that was on the video I have now changed the thumbnail and I'm gonna show you the new thumbnail and then I'm gonna show you the change in views as well let's take a look at element inspectors and what this screen is, is it analyzes the thumbnails specifically as to what is attracting people. It'll tell you whether people are liking a thumbnail that has a face versus no face, or if the face is showing emotions, which emotion attracts the most clicks, and then also the size of the face in the thumbnail. My videos get more clicks when there is a face. If we take a look into the emotions, 
people tend to click on my thumbnails more when they have a surprised face. And this was actually very interesting because somebody had posted on the Facebook group a meme of, you know, the typical shocked YouTuber face. But this is why people do that face, you guys, because it's what gets the most clicks and people are trying to get a click. So this is something that can help you decide what is working in your thumbnails and what is not. If you go to the CTR opportunities, what this screen basically shows you is videos that are performing well in terms of impressions, watch time, average view duration, but that they have a low CTR. So again, this tells me that I have a thumbnail problem in these videos. And now, because I know what appeals to people from my thumbnails, I can basically see how I can rework these. And in the advanced analytics is where we see information as to how many clicks or impressions the video has received, how many views, um, the average view duration, total watch time. So the second tool that I want to talk to you guys about, you actually don't find within YouTube. You have to go to the actual TubeBuddy dashboard. And I think that a lot of us forget that there are things in the TubeBuddy dashboard that we could be taking advantage of. The tool that I want to talk to you guys about here is this one called Launchpad. So if you click on Launchpad, what this tool basically does is it helps you find opportunities for videos. Really what you want to do is you're going to go and you're going to select any video that you want to find any opportunities that you might be missing. I went with a video with how to start a YouTube channel and you just start typing it and you select it. And then I don't want to generate an upload list and I don't want to run the best practice audit. I just want to find growth opportunities. The tool begins working, analyzing this specific video so that it can find any growth opportunities. According to this, there are still some comments in this video that I haven't responded to. I should probably go and respond to those so you can do those there. And then one thing that I find very, very interesting is a lot of times you'll find these SEO suggested tags. And when you click on that, you'll be able to see search phrases that have driven traffic to your video already that you're not currently using as part of your tags. And then you'll also be able to see the tags you are currently using. So you can actually just click on the search phrases that are on the top to get them added to your current tags. Now, the only problem with this is, is that you can't see which tags you're currently ranking for. But TubeBuddy has also made this available to you from within YouTube. Is you wanna to go to Creator Studio and you're gonna to wanna to pull up that video. So go to the details section. And in the details sections, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you get to the video's tags. Scroll down a little bit more, you'll be able to find the recommended tag sections, which is basically where we pull up tags for the video. And what you actually wanna go ahead and do is you wanna click the option that says as search traffic. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up tags that have driven traffic to this video. So if you're not using any of those, you should go in and plug those in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove tags that I'm not ranking for, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug in the tags that have brought traffic to this video. The other thing you can do within the TubeBuddy dashboard that is related to the launch pad is that you can click on where it says active monitoring. It's going to run this analysis for every single video that you publish and you can actually let the tool know how many days after your video has gone public do you want to be notified of any growth opportunities. So if all of a sudden you're getting search traffic from tags that you didn't use, you can actually get a notification if you click on this option. The third tool that I want to talk to you guys about is actually a collection of tools and you find this within the TubeBuddy dashboard again. And all you have to do to access them is go to the member perks area. Within each category, you get a set of different tools. In the music and audio category, you'll be able to find Audio Hero, which gives you access to 250,000 premium royalty-free music tracks and sound. You also get a discount to Epidemic Sound. And this is a new one that I know that they recently announced. Um, it's called Licked and it's chart music for YouTube videos. And within the video graphics, you can find Tuber tools, Placeit, 
um, the YouTube starter kit by Roberto Blake, and then also Filmora, which is an editing software. But the one that I'm really, really excited about and that I think that you guys are really gonna appreciate is the one that is found within the mobile apps category, specifically this middle one right here. So you can see it says TubeBuddy Mobile, which I don't know why it says TubeBuddy Mobile, but what it is is call to action animations and graphics for your desktop or your videos. A subscribe, the like, the leave a comment you can get a hundred free animations or 50 percent off a 500 pack but i actually downloaded the 100 free animations and let me tell you they are pretty nice they come in a wider range of colors and there's no coding required so you basically just drag and drop them into your editing software and you'll be able to use them once you click on that it takes you to this website the underdog collective.com and this is where you'll be able to download your 100 free youtube call to action animations you can see them right here this is the comment down below the hit the like um the subscribe and they have different variations and another thing about the underdog collective animations is they actually have an affiliate program so if you begin promoting these call to actions you can actually earn a little bit of money let's talk about the giveaway because there's a couple of things that you need to do i'm going to have a link in the description so that you can set up your free tubebuddy account you are going to need a tubebuddy account so that we can then upgrade you to the legend license if you're one of the winners so if you have not set up a tubebuddy account Make sure that you click that link and just select the free option and you'll have your account ready then we're actually going to select the winners on my next video which is going to be published on december 30th so don't miss next week's video because that is when the winner is going to be announced and we're actually going to use another TubeBuddy tool or feature that i don't know if you knew existed which is the pick a winner tool and the way that this tool works is it picks randomly from the comment section so if any of you is ever running a giveaway on your channel and you want to pick a winner from the comment section you can actually use TubeBuddy to pick your winner randomly to be eligible to win this giveaway you need to leave a comment down below letting me know which of these tools you are most excited about and if you don't win the giveaway don't worry because i also have a link in the description for you guys that allows you to test any one of the two buddy paid plans you can try it for free for 30 days if you've never tried one of the two buddy paid plans so that link is going to be down below in the description for you guys remember none of this is going to matter if you don't know how to use the keyword explorer because the keyword explorer is key for picking the right keyword so i actually have that two buddy video right here so that you can go and watch that next that's going to be it for this video guys i will go ahead and see you on the next one where we pick our two winners bye